Three. 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 Well done. Three. Keep One it up. Down. Keep on now. And he's just bailing again. Well, now he's on a. Come, Come on, on, Michael. On, Grip it tightly oh, with the keep legs, going. Oh. Keep going. Keep going. Keep Bella. Oh. No. Oh. Oh. Off on Judy. Oh, she's superb. Judy knows exactly where she's going. She knows exactly where she's going. Come on, keep going. Well done. No. Hold on. Goodbye, Judy. The undefeated lays in me once again. Come along, George. Oh, it's over. Come on, George. Come on, George. Watch the butter. Is it finished? Stop, stop, stop. Right, four, how many have we got? Four, four, four. Four. Ladies and gentlemen, the green team have scored four points. Four Hooray. points. Four points. <laughs> Tonight, a mighty banquet shall be prepared. Lord Nock has summoned the help of the Britannia Building Society cooks. And between the two enormous cooking pots, through the fire and the brimstone, the red-cloaked figure of Her Royal Highness, the Princess Royal, bearing the joker to mighty cheers from our humble audience. This is a joker. Yes, good guess. Well, you've been at me all afternoon, instructing me in the art of knockout. <laughs> oh, no, I wouldn't do anything like that. Well, let's have a look at your cast list. I was just wondering why you're playing the Joker on, the, on this particular game. I don't know. It was, I was told that we had to get it in before the end, so... <laughs> <laughs> There's not many left. <laughs> yes, but I, I see Emily Hughes and Debbie Flintoff and Virginia Lang against uh, Griff Rees jones Margot Kidder and Fiona Fullerton. I'm, you must fancy your chances, someone. Well, I'm not doing it, but they seem to think they might be able to catch them. Well, we wish you good luck. Thank you very much indeed. A little applause for Royal Highness. <laughs> yes. Well, a lot of applause then, a lot of applause. Much applause. <clears throat> the game will unfold. I'm not going to say any more on Paul Danielson's gun. We are going to get run over if we stay here. I'm going to fire this gun and run myself. Yes. The vegetables, the cooks are coming. Three, two, one, go! So the two onions, the two leeks, the two potatoes, for each team, a red cook comes out right away. A red cook, that's Virginia Leng, and a yellow cook. Now, each team has to collect just one vegetable. One potato, one onion, one leek. So the red team now have got to get in their potato. So what have we got? We've got Debbie Flintoff after the onion. We've got Sarah Hardcastle who's obtained the vegetable. Debbie Flintoff against a, a rather nifty pair of vegetables. She's got the onion. Debbie's got the onion, and when it's touched, it must lie down. <laughs> and for the yellow team, for Prince Edward, we've got Tessa. She's got a leak, so it's neck and neck. It's Prince Edward, the Princess Royals. Debbie Flintoff and Tessa, and it goes in the pot. And Eddie Grant, Eddie Grant with his dreadlocks, he's off to the bottom. It's Edwin Hughes versus Eddie Grant. Oh, oh, dear me! Oh, dear me! I feel sorry for the league. Leave the league alone. It's Swift Reese Jones. Oh, I don't know who I give up. Oh. Come on, Eddie. Eddie Grant brings an onion, puts it in the pot. And as soon as it gets in, the game finishes. Come on, Tess, Sarah. Oh. Well, I can't believe this. Ginny, she was off the block so f you were off the block so fast, you'd captured the first vegetable in about five seconds flat, and Emlyn finishes it all off as he always does. She likes her cooking. Hey, well, we'll have to see how the joke goes. Okay, Paul, let's have the scoreboard. Well, as you can see, the third of the children from the, are in the lead. They're on the joke, and they've done 103. Yellow team there, 129. Yeah. But we knocked a little bit off this score because the vegetable didn't die immediately. Of course. This is a very fair score. Absolutely. So now we have the Duchess of York against the Duke oh. of York. Let's go and start. And on the gun, it will start. Three. Yes. yes. Three, two, one. I see the legs of Steve Cramer and Onion. There's no doubt about that. Pam Stevenson.
Pam Stevenson and Cliff Pritchard. Yes? Pamela Stevenson running for the Blues against Cliff Richard and John Travolta. <laughs> it's John Travolta from the Duke of York. Pam Stevenson, the one and only John Travolta, the star, the superstar. John Travolta delivers the goods, pops it in the pot. Lisa Annika Rice going for the Duke of York. Who goes for the Duchess? Meatloaf. No, it ain't Meatloaf. Who's going for the Duke of York? It's, uh, it's Gail Greeno. <laughs> what's, she, what's she aiming for? Which vegetable is she going for? Go for the potato. We need the potato now. Whoa. This is Gail, This is Gail, yeah. Uh, what's happened to the onion? Oh, look, that's unfair. The, the onion's hiding behind the tent over there. That's out of bounds. The onion. Gail. Has she got him? She got him, yes. Annika Rice has got a potato. She's fell, Sheena Easton. Here comes Gail Greeno. Come on, Gail, make haste. Make haste. We need the onion. <laughs> and it's the least got. So meatloaf's released. It's meatloaf. And I don't think meatloaf will ever catch that onion, I'll tell you. This is going to go all, all night. <laughs> it's heavy metal. It's heavy metal against Olympic gold. Come on, Meatloaf. Go on, Meaty. Go on, Meaty, no. Oh. So, Paul, there we are with the time of Prince Edward 129, for the Princess Royal 103, <clears throat> and for the Duchess of York out of time. Yes. The Duke of York is 159, and the awarding of the points as thus. Well, as you can see, here the meatloaf is still running, so they've only got one there. Yeah. Um, across the world, while everyone have got two here. And in the Britannia Building Cross, uh, Building Society Cooks Tour, we've got three for the yellow team, but Princess Royal did it right. Played the Joker, doubled the score, got eight on that scoreboard. Isn't that And. Fantastic? As a result, the tournament now stands at the Princess Royal in the lead handsomely with 29 points. The Duke of York with 20, the Duchess of York with 19, and Prince Edward, who were firm favourites at the start, with 16. Alas, an interloper is in our midst, the worst for ale. Ladies and gentlemen, let us observe the uninvited guest. Without more ado, let us release this uninvited guest, and don't blow my head off again, <laughs> Paul. Three, two, one. And he comes. Here's the drunk. <laughs> Reeling from side to side. And something magic happens to those chairs. Operated by Barry, Christopher, John, and Kiri. <laughs> and there's no... <laughs> And he's, he's made it safely, and he comes. Viv, down the stairs, you've got to come. Down the stairs, and sit on the stool, and the game finishes. The game finishes, the uninvited guest, but... Come on, Viv, you got come it! Come on, boy! You got it, and you've got to sit down, and the game finishes as of... <laughs> he has to sit on <laughs> Right, come on, take the costume off, Blues, and let's see who's in. Come on. Take off his costume. He did a good run for you. The one and only Viv Richards. Super champ. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> OK. It's Meatloaf's coming in. Three, two, one. Tamara McKinney comes in. Meatloaf's in. Krista Burr's in. Michael Brandon, Steve Cawthon on the first chair. And it's a big, strong, drunken guest. And there's no doubt about it. He's through in no time. It's all against the clock. Down the stairs. This is Prince Edward. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. On the chair, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, and ring the bell. Up. <laughs> Superman, take off the costume. <laughs> and once again, it's Duncan Goodyear. We're ready, Paul. Are we all on stand Yes, we are. Three, two, one, go for it. Oh, it's Michael Palin. Played a few funny games this time. He's on the first chair. And George Lazenby. Referees Jones, Judy Simpson, and... 
The Duke of York and the attempt to bring him down. <laughs> but he's through, it's a great run. The marvellous run by the Princess Royals team. From the front, from the front. <laughs> Sit down, Tom. Come on, off with the costume. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Jones. It's not unusual. Eh? Oh, boy. Eh? Three, Some game. two, one. Tactics playing a part here. The Princess Royal at the back of the game. Exhorting them. Oh. Oh, dear. Bad tactics there. This could be the winning time. The winning time could be... Out about that. The Duke of York comes forward and shakes Steve Podvorsky's hand, and that could be the record tie, the world record tie. I should have put the joker on that, shouldn't I? You should. <laughs> that was a small miscalculation. So, it's fairly obvious that uh, Steve Podvorsky won the, uh, the great drunken race. Yes, and what a lightning game. Yes, yeah, you can see here the blue team came in last week, 45 seconds, and that was fast, but they only got one shield for that. And, of course, where, where we go from there is here to 40 seconds, and the red team, they got two shields for that. And International Project, the yellow team, got 20 seconds on there. They got, so that's three points. But the winner, I mean, look at this, four points for the World Wildlife Fund, 19 incredible <laughs> seconds. Oh, here we go. The Princess Royal in the lead with 31 points. The Duke of York with 24, Duchess of York with 20, and Prince Edward with 19. My Lord Nock now calls upon the final challengers, brave and true, for the Aster Marathon. Thank thee, Herald. And without preamble, let us meet the team for the fourth heat of the Aster Marathon. First of all, Gail Greenough. Now, what do you think of the problems here? Well, I understand the water's pretty cold, so I don't think I really want to fall in today. No, I don't think you will. That <laughs> smile, you won't. Let's have a look. Brian? Brian Cooper. What thinkest thou? Uh, I figure uh, my dogs would have a better chance than me, but I'm going to try to walk across the wall. Don't worry, the dogs have already done things, innit? Yeah, right. Dogs. Mel Smith, a noble name with a noble face. Tell me what you think, Mel. No, don't. It's, better, it's better than playing a potato. <laughs> it's better than playing a potato. <laughs> You're still here in the chips. And, of course, it is Ben Cross. Thank you very much, Les. OK, yes. Ben, what do you think? Uh, I think I'm going to get very wet. Thank you. Yeah. Right, on the team. Yeah. Seated at the groaning table. We have Judy Simpson, maybe, and George Lazenby, actor extraordinaire. Lord Nock, may I continue with the marathon? The May. Go, 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 go. Off. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Come on, Gail. Oh, no. Oh, whoa, indeed, whoa. Brian Cooper's making pretty good progress there. Come on, Brian. Grip the pole well with the lower extra. Mel Smith, that fine figure of a man. Is it a meat pudding? No. Go, oh, Mel! Oh, gone. Ben Cross, what a wonderful figure of a man. Look at those legs. There should be a message charge of one. Go on! Well done, Ben. Not giving up, Gail is continuing. You're going to do it, Gail. You can do it. This is your big chance. This is it. Well done. <laughs> Brian, well done. Keep it up. Look at that. Sure-footed as a mounting goat. Watch the splinters. Well done, lad. And it's the mind bent <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. Gail. Oh, it is enough. And two, not the double blue scores. team are finished with two. No double scores. Thank you very much. Now we transfer the points to the master scoreboard, which is yellow team with four, red with one, green with four, and of course blue with two. <laughs> Assembled loyal servants, our tournament would not be complete this day without our final game, the joust. So, 
high drinks on this last game. They have to go down the arena, towed by the two boys, knocking down the targets with their lance. Four targets, there will be loud explosions, they get to the bottom, and then they come back in a most mysterious way. Paul, and we're ready, we're off and running. The last game, and as we go into the last game, the Princess Royal with 32, the Duke of York 28, Prince Edward 23, the Duchess of York 22. The targets are going down, everyone's knocked down by Prince Edward. Prince Edward's team won in the lead from the Princess Royal. They turn round, a damsel has to jump on the back of the horse. For Prince Edward, it is Sarah Hardcastle. She must get on the horse. She's on the horse. Oh, look at this! The Princess Royal, Anthony Andrews with Virginia Lane. Oh, look at this, the Princess Royal coming in. First, to finish first. Oh, I can't believe it. From Prince Edward. And the Duchess of York. That was Steve Cawthon with Jane Seymour. What a lovely couple. A protest again. Methinks another protest from whom? Well, now then, the result of the last game, Paul. Well, as you can see, it was yes. very straightforward. Didn't bother to time it because it was very clear cut. I mean, look at the positions one, two, three, and four, which of course means in reverse order the World Wildlife Fund got one shield, and of course the. Uh, 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 a little cheer for that, yes. yes. They were, we're the blue team, yeah, they got two. Put me off with that cheer. And the other team got three. But see, the children came home again in the league. Again. Four shields on their points. The Princess Royal go. came How home, championed yet again. How you go? So let me have the final scores. The final score! And handsome winners with 36 points. Her Royal Highness, the Princess Royal! And now let's have the finale. Heary, heary, heary. Lord Knock of Knock shall now award the prize. Now, now, it is always sad to have to pick out a winner when all have behaved with such consummate absurdity. <laughs> but let the losers take comfort in the thought that they will never, ever look so foolish again. <laughs> but a victor there must be, and myself and Lady Knock are proud to present this glorious trophy to the proud winner here on behalf of the Save the Children Fund, Her Royal Highness, the Princess Royal. May she, thank you, may she carry it back with pride to her faithful troops and let them never forget the day they came to Alton dressed up as headless men and giant vegetables <laughs> and won a mighty victory. Your Royal Highness, many congratulations and farewell to you all. <laughs>